Bienvenidos a la República Dominicana. I'm Mary Fignano. And I'm Jay Fignano. And we wanted to talk to you a little bit about our trips to the Dominican Republic and to plant a seed that maybe you'd like to join us sometime. Typically, our trips are in November and April. We love November because it happens to be baseball season in the Dominican. So, part of our trip always involves a baseball game. But the main reason we come here is to help. And we come to help through a wonderful organization called Vision Trust. And here in the Dominican Republic, there is a headquarters for the Vision Trust Dominicana projects. So there are a total of 12 projects under the Vision Trust umbrella here. And the ones that we have been spending most of our time working with are the orphanage in Ramar and Tia Tatiana School in Herrera. When we come to the Dominican, we are always greeted at the airport by one or more representatives of Vision Trust who pick us up, they greet us uh, once we get through customs, which usually goes very quickly and they greet us at the airport. If we have people joining us from other places in the United States and their flights are coming in at different times, um, there's always a pizza party at the airport. So uh, we're greeted at the airport by some of our dear friends that work here in the Dominican Republic for Vision Trust. Nelson, who is the head of all of the 12 projects here in the Dominican, and oftentimes Nelson arrives with his son Oscar, who is always a happy, smiling face to greet us. Um, along with Nelson, we might also see our friend Nacho, who is otherwise known as Ramon, but we like to call him Nacho. Our three trips so far, and what I would anticipate to happen on all our future trips, is that Greg Wilborn from Vision Trust headquarters in Colorado Springs, Colorado, is always our kind of U.S. leader and Greg and Nelson are in constant contact with each other, planning the trips, deciding what projects we're going to work on and kind of giving us all direction and making sure that everybody has a really positive experience. It's very simple, we get loaded into the cars, they um, take our bags for us and we're now whisked off to the Mission House, which is uh, in Santo Domingo, probably about a oh, half an hour or so's drive, depending on traffic, from the airport. Once we arrive at the Mission House, um, everybody unloads their baggage, and the, although we travel pretty light because it's fairly warm here, you don't need a whole lot of heavy clothes. Basically, um, at the Mission House there is laundry, so we can pack light and do laundry as we need to. Um, the Mission House is incredibly comfortable. We have um, two different large rooms with bunk beds, and typically, even if you're traveling with your husband or your wife, um, you've got the guy's dorm and the gal's dorm, and then on a few rare occasions, we've been able to enjoy the honeymoon suite. It's two sets of bunk beds. The other thing that's great is, in the Dominican, it is a Spanish-speaking country. Now, coming from Los Angeles, we have a few words that we know that we can get by. Um, but we should be better. We, and we will be better. But and the translators are actually helping us learn Spanish that's right. each time we come. We have uh, an amazing group of young people from the Dominican that travel with us and are there wherever we go. They can help translate when we're playing with the kids at the orphanage. They translate when we're talking with the teachers at Tia Tatiana School. Um, and the other thing that is a great highlight of the trip is attending one of the church services that is 
um, in the facility on the roof of Tia Tatiana School. The music is unbelievable. The singing um, is, I they would say- They sing like angels. They sing like angels with guitar and drums and keyboard and the experience of the people that are there with you. People are moving to the music, they're clapping, they're happy. There is so much joy in a community that by our standards has so little. By what we're bringing with our hearts being open and being able to bring other people on these trips with us to share and for them to experience and see what those needs might be. Together, we're renewed and we hope that the people that see what we're doing and join us on these trips will find ways to help us bring a new, a new life, a better life to the people that we're here serving.